Welcome back to Game Over, guys. Game Over, guys. Back on some Cosmicoria. This game. All right. Uh, you're gonna spend any gem gem cells? Of course. Have I some am. starting bricks because we died in an untimely fashion. Yeah. Let's see if we can afford with 175 and get some more more speed. Speed's good. Uh, can't get more <coughs> jump. Can't get more seeds. Uh, Nope, 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 nope. Okay, looks like we're just getting some more speed. It's time to play a feud. Alright. Boo, boo, boo. Here we go! I still like that thing in the background. What is that? I don't know, but I'm curious to see when uh, it stops when becoming it? a silhouette. You're gonna fight it. Do it. Flag! Crambig. <laughs> you got the UFOs. Space. So, building a Moai will stomp those guys. Yes, we found that out today. We learned a thing. Because we read. Because we read. The power of books about space. Alright. Space books. Wouldn't that be fun? Space books. No, 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 no. Oh. All right. All Get right. your plants yeah. planted. Seeds. Space botany. Mm. Or is this space horticulture? <gasps> I don't know. It might be horticulture. Get them planted before things start getting awful. Yep. I missed my starting rock. It was so small, nothing could get dropped on it. <laughs> it also had no atmosphere, though. It had enough. No, 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 no. Get him, get him, get him, get him, no, get him. No, no, no. They are not prepared for this level of aggression that they're that they're showing off. Oh man, first try. I'm definitely getting better at this. Our awesome neighbors with their motorcycle. They're so cool, I wish I could be like them. Oh man. Don't need a muffler on my bike. Probably took it off himself. I can't tell if I'm smelling that pizza that's been there for a day, or if it's me. Because I smell provolone, and it's awful. Like, really sharp provolone. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you get for it being a weekend. Alright. <laughs> I'm gonna get this chest before I... Boom, I got bricks! Oh, I didn't nice. get no mystic item. For once. Alright, all your plants grown. Let's leave. Hold on. You, I got, got, you got seeds, boy. Hold on, hold on. Mm -mm. Okay. Bring up your map, too. Space uh, map. Boink! Cranberg. I thought it said Cranberg. Anymore? Cranberg. Well, right. we know which direction not to go in. Let me, let me grab the next harvest of seeds. It should be coming up any second. I wonder what they taste like. Why are they so colorful? So exotic. Mm -hmm. oh, Alright, screw it. Don't go in that exact not direction. That, not this direction? Uh, look, you're in the corner of the map. There you go. Whoop. Ow! Really? <laughs> you would. I land right on the enemy. Thanks, Bould. <sighs> so if you bring in a Moai here, they'll stomp on some of them jellies. Although that native jelly seems pretty cool. I think all the jellies are cool. Yeah, I landed jelly five bucks one time, he paid me back right away. Holy shit, man. <laughs> They're good guys. Not necessarily these little tentacle guys, though. <laughs> uh, get it? Yes. <sighs> okay. Some, some flowers. I like these little hairy mountains. They're very Susian. Look out. Oh god, alright. Oh. Space horticulture is a life of violence. It's a dangerous profession, but someone has to do it. That someone is us. Bum, bum, bum. That heart is so tiny. This planet need, has, need, has, needs a lot of love. But it's also got a lot of love to give. Alright. 
get it. Yes. Okay, so. Right, some flowers. We gotta figure out what causes those bosses to trigger. Because they are nothing but mischief. Alright. So I'm hoping I can convince our one friend to start drawing comics for our uh, our tabletop games. We, we, we play a, uh, a tabletop RPG. You may, may have heard of it, Pathfinder. And, and us and a group of friends have a lot of fun with this. Because we mainly get up to a lot of shenanigans. And whenever I'm working with this co-worker of mine, she's always curious uh, about the misadventures we get into. Hijinks would probably be the best word. And she wants to animate them into a comic. Which I would love. But, you know, I'm just hoping. I'm optimistic. We, we get up to silly things. We, we uh, had to go investigate a murder cult in this one city one time. And... I know exactly where this is going. And we, we went to the town, and we were speaking with the mayor of the town. And uh, we were like, well, uh, hey, we, we were sent here. Uh, we're chasing after these cultists. Uh, they're, they're big on murder, so you know it's not good to have them around. Anybody would have a problem with them. Bad for business. And we were like, just leave it to us. You know, We'll, we'll take care of it. And we found some evidence that pointed us in the direction of this sawmill. So we went, we went and checked it out. And I, I used a, a magic item that lets me disguise myself as anyone else. So I went as the mayor. Because, uh, why not? I, 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 needed, I needed somebody to go as so that I didn't know who was on to them. And I went up and I was like, hello, I am the mayor. I, I didn't know his name. So we, I, I bluffed my way in. And they're like, yeah, hang on, we'll we'll get the uh, we'll get the owner so you guys can have a talk, a chit chat, a little tete a tete. We, and we're we're hanging out down there in like the lobby, and the rest of the party was like, well, what, what 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 are you doing here? Just just follow my lead. I got this. And uh, we, we're we're hanging out, and guy comes back down. Oh, well, the owner will see you now. We go up, started uh, chit chatting with the guy. Whoa. So, Mr. Mayor, good to see you. Yes! As you know, I am Mayor. And, well, I had some visitors today. They were investigating this murder cult. And they, they said they were good. Evidence pointed them in the direction of the sawmill, so I thought I would pop over and pay a social call and just let you know. And, you know, meanwhile, trying to squeeze this guy for any information, he might divulge to the mayor. One of the, uh, one of my teammates leaned in and he was like, you should probably know. This guy and the mayor, they're old friends. They're golf buddies. And I looked back at him and the guy was just sort of tapping his finger on the desk with an arched eyebrow. And I went, oh. Well, cheese it. Swung a katana at him. He runs for it. Takes off. And we go, oh, God, these guys are in on it. I knew it all along. Because, well, sure. Of course they were chase him downstairs the rest of the party sitting in their in their recliners like oh god did he just t swing at this guy and take off let's follow him running downstairs into the sawmill room chase the guy down stop in the middle of the room and go ah I cornered you now look around room is filled with guards he was waiting for us he was ready and just as he t I turn back and look at my party mates they just see the door close, and I go, guys? Doors close, doors locked. Ninjas everywhere, or whatever they were. Sawmill workers. Call them what you like. They were ninjas to me. <laughs> so he starts windmilling around with his katana, trying to hold all of these guards back. Meanwhile, the rest of the group is outside the room, trying to bust the door down, just hearing the sounds of conflict all over. So I, I, I panic, and I shoot a fireball. Poof! Just scattering sawdust everywhere and igniting it. And wouldn't you know it, the room catches fire while we're all locked in there. So while the party is trying to bust in, they notice light coming in from under the door. And they're like, this door is too secure. Bust a hole in the wall instead. Guards start pouring out, running for their lives. 
the guy takes off again, the guy we suspected of being in the cult. And the whole room just starts going up. The party does their business, does their diligence, and they're like, let's put this fire out, this is a bad idea. It's a sawmill, it spreads really fast. People are falling off the catwalks into these giant spinning saw blades, fire spreading up the walls, and we go, oh no, oh geez, okay. We leave. We run out of the room. We, we knock a bunch of people over, chase the guy up to the roof, knock him out, drag him out of the building as the whole thing's going up in flames. Guards come up. What happened here? Well, turns out that murder cult we are investigating, totally here. They burned the building down. Yep, it was then. They burned down the building. Big, big accident. Terrible tragedy. You, you should probably get somebody to take care of that fire. Dan goes, give me a bluff check. Natural 20. Automatic success. Oh, were people relieved. Not only did we accidentally bumble our way into dealing with this cult, but we also accidentally pinned it on them. Exonerating us. It was wonderful. It was a fun time. We, we, we get into shenanigans. And these are the sorts of things that our, that our one friend would be animating. But that's neither here nor there. It's just blowing makes... smoke right now. Like this dragon. Dude. Blowing fire at you. Where are you going, I'm, I'm trying to loop back around. Maybe land on this violent-looking planet. Uh, I'm not, not taking the very indirect route. Angle. Yes. Okay. Okay. All's well. This planet seems to be doing all right. Your little pyramid's helping. As much as it can. Yeah, it's doing oh, yeah. more than I am. Uh. Uh. Every time, every run, time, every run, time. Run, Okay. So the other day, our, our one friend was running a another campaign where we were part of a caravan. We were uh, making our way around the world. It was a big, fun adventure. And we were uh, riding over, like, the North Pole... And it was a very long, arduous journey to get to the other side of the world. The, the land masses connect conveniently. So we had just made our way over the North Pole, and we're making our way back to more temperate climbs. And we were riding in the wagons for, like, months. And we, we passed by, like, a cottage. And the DM, the dungeon master, looks at us expectantly, like, So you see a, a cottage? I have made a mistake. Okay, I guess I'm going this way now. We just keep riding in the caravan. We go, all right, I continue to sit comfortably in the caravan I've been sitting in for months. I, I have no interest in visiting with these people. I've got things to do. <coughs> we go on. We just roll past it. Nothing happens. God, no. No, 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 no. DM looks at us expectantly again. No. You pass by another cottage. Boy, look at it go. Mm. You know, Dan, I think you're out of fuel. Uh, this will be the end of me. You got, you got... Yeah, take him out. At least he died with you. Uh, did I... Did I uh, break free the gravity well. I'm trying. Maybe you'll get killed by fireballs I'm instead. I'm trying. It'll be more honor... Okay. <laughs> well. Third cottage we pass by. This one's on fire. Because that's much more exciting. <laughs> so next time on Game Over, guys, perhaps we don't fall into a sun. That would be new.